Prozan, Prozan, heroes. Gonna tell you about Prozan, Prozan, heroes. Gonna tell you about comic books, costumes, facts, boots, and other stuff. In this week's issue, Batman, Vigilante, Dark Knight, Murderer. Welcome in to Bros, Foes, and Heroes. I am Zach, joined as always by the magnificent, marvelous, uh, man wonder himself, Mr. Mike. Why, hello there. Oh, nice. How about that? That's a I good like entry, that. Huh? Yeah. Why, hello there. You know, sometimes I always feel like when we start our podcast, we sound like it's, you know, you've tuned into like public radio or we, like NPR. We do start that way. We do occasionally. Anyway. Yes. We will get loud throughout, obviously, <laughs> and we will say some pretty ridiculous stuff probably by the time it's said and done, but I always feel like we start and it's just like, you know, uh, this is Zach and welcome to Fresh Air. Welcome you know? to comics. Exactly. Welcome to comic air. Terry Gross will join us in the next Terry. segment. <laughs> So Terry Repulsive will be here in a minute. <laughs> got it. Yeah, nice. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> your wife will be proud. There you go. <laughs> you got the job. There you go. We talked uh, uh, off before we had started. Yeah. I had told Mike that um, my wife had listened to one of the episodes the other day, or maybe a couple weeks ago, whatever. But she brought it to my attention that sometimes it would frustrate her that Mike would make jokes. <laughs> And I would just, I was so dead set on just keep pushing through with the story or whatever we well, were talking about that I would miss it. And she was like, he makes funny jokes and you just you, miss it sometimes. You have to remember, Mike hates himself. And <laughs> so that's the only way he can get through a day is making constant jokes. Yeah. Oh, oh come on, <laughs> no, Mike. I'm just kidding. No, I mean, we know it's true, like but I'm just saying, like, come on, let's not bring everybody else down. Sure. Right? Yeah. Sure. No. Welcome. Welcome. So today. <laughs> Um, a thing that we started last week. Yeah. Um, actually, you know, before we get into that, I, I think I made mention of it at the end of last week's show. I should make mention of it at the beginning. Okay. Is, um, there's a little thing and we just talked about it a little bit too, with the press release called rogue con going yes, on. Yes. Rogue con 23. Um, and rogue 23.com. There you go. Um, all your, all your creative content ticketed needs. And, uh, we bring it up because on that Saturday, yes, the 21st, yes. Uh, one of the things that is going on there is we will be doing a live show. The year of our Lord, 2023. 2023. Yeah. Um, if you would like to come swing by and see Mike and I. Please. Do this monstrosity of life. Cover your eyes and yes. it'll be the same. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Or maybe you don't even have to cover your eyes. You can just like turn your backs to us. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So you I would love like see. a whole audience and their backs are just turned yes. to us. They're Wouldn't just not... that be great? Just because it's like, I know they're there. I know they're listening, yeah. but they're not judging yeah. me. Sure. And I know they're not. Sure. Well, yeah. if they are, I can't tell that I can't they take are. their beady little eyes anyway. <laughs> yeah. You just called our audience. Mem- you said all of our Some audience members. Some of them have beady eyes. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm thinking, you know, uh, just law of averages, right? Uh, well, Some of them yeah. have beady eyes. Okay. Okay. Law of averages. Talking that's to you, fine. Jeff. Jeff, I just want you to know that that was Mike who made that comment. <laughs> it was not me. So, Jeff, fight me. Uh, all right. Come on, well, Jeff. Let's hey, go. If Jeff shows up, maybe we'll have at our second live show, we'll have a fight between. Ooh. Fisticuffs. Bare knuckle would you, fisticuffs. If Jeff shows up, if we have a listener named Jeff, yes, show if, up. Well, there's two qualifiers. Okay. Number one, you got to be a listener. Well, yeah. there's three qualifiers. Okay. Number one, you got to be a listener. Okay. Number two, your name has to be Jeff. Yeah. I don't want any like Hefe or you know any other kind of Jeff, right? I mean, but it has to be like Jeffrey that's called Jeff. Okay, so you want like a okay, right? Okay, and then third, beady eyes. Okay, um, can I can I put a fourth in just sure, for please, for please. your safety? Yes. Uh, cannot under five two. Oh, I'm just kidding. I was just gonna say cannot be a professional <laughs> fighter of some sort. I you know I would be okay with that. I don't care. That's true. I feel like we've talked about I, it before about how you said I that you were willing to take a punch for some money. I don't feel like I've been punched enough. I um, <laughs> that's, that's an interesting thing. Um, you ever I, feel I, that I way? Um, like, like I, I should have had been more punched fights. enough. Well, I mean, I'm just so, saying, like I should have had more fights. Right? I, okay, okay. I have had that that thought before yeah. of where not like I should have had more fights, right? But it's like I feel like fights show up in other form of media all the uh, time yeah. that I feel like I didn't have enough. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
I had like fights with my brothers, but yeah, you know how that's different it is because yeah. it was never anything really like too physical. Like nobody ever got really hurt or anything like that. I'm it talking. Was, I'm talking four drinks in. Yeah, you know. See, okay. The thing is, there is uh, I've never been um, a big drinker, mm-hmm. so uh, like I've I've gone out and I've had fun, mm-hmm. uh, but I'm a invade your uh, personal space. Happy oh, person. Oh, you're a close person. You're a close talker. I am. I might get a little louder, which it's. I know that's probably hard to oh, imagine right. since I'm already so hey, I'm hey. not like that close, <laughs> but I will probably put my arm around oh, you, yeah? maybe. Yeah. And I don't that's do okay. it. Yeah, I don't do it to you're be. Happy. Yeah, exactly. You're happy. Um, until I get to a point, which I found out obviously, like everybody does. <sighs> When they go out on their like twenty first and twenty seconds, like everybody twenty first, twenty second drink. No, well, man, I think everybody at least has that point to where you reach a limit where you realize, sure. like, all right, that's sure. where I need to. So, I, have I ever told you about my cousin and the way he he used to fight? No. So we got into a couple of skirmishes in strip club parking lots, right? Be- before, or after, before, or after the strip club? Yeah. Like, did y'all just pull? Here's, I guess I'm like, did y'all go in? One of them, or no. Or was it just like pull over in the I next parking spend, lot and it I, happened to be strip club parking lot? I never lots? spent a lot of time in strip clubs. It's just not my thing. I get it. I, I think they're frustrating, number one. I mean, that's all they are. They're just frustrating, right? Yeah. I mean, you can't do anything about it. So it's just frustration. Yeah. Um, I've never understood why you drop a ton of money on frustration. Yeah, all right. Yay, blue balls, you know, or whatever. <laughs> But um, oh man, no! I think that it, it, we used to go out riding around a lot. Yeah, and he was a professional turd, and so <laughs> he would piss a lot That's, of people off. Gotcha. Okay. You know, and, and you'd so have to kind of. You know. I just remember pulling over in the in the parking lot of a strip club twice with this man, and both times he went up to an unarmed car, unarmed, bro- broke off their antenna. And went after somebody. With oh, it. so he, oh, okay. Now he's that guy. So here's the. Th- this is also back in the day when cars like, had antennas. He'd like cut you, cut your skin open. Kind this of is guy. When, when cars had like actual, yes, like actual antenna antennas. antennas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember I had a Camry. I think it might have been my first one. It was like a '94 Camry. And I came out of the strip club, and the antenna was gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, and I, I remember like I turned the car on, and it would like raise yes, after yes, it started. Yes. And then when it go when it was done, but I remember those things were like it those was, didn't have a, those don't have the same whoosh, no they, as a regular they antenna. don't. But yeah. I'm like so I just remember just like it being about, a thing. But um, I remember from some of my mother's cars, she had like uh-huh. an older Buick uh-huh. that that thing was like. Just think about think about what it takes to break it off. Oh, it takes some it, force. It, yeah, it, there's this whole thing going through your head. I'm gonna get that antenna. Now I'm gonna break it off. Now I'm gonna go after somebody with it. I mean that takes a lot of gumption you know i mean you're just like Whoa. or anger issues but yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah yeah. well same thing oh, yeah guess, guess i think gumption just... and, and anger issues are the same thing yeah oh that's what it means the new american dictionary all right yeah so something we started last week along the lines of fighting let's stick to fighting oh, crime there you go there we let's go let's do it um we started we'll break off this antenna i came up with the idea of it's not really original but it's the first of the year so we should look back at the early, it, it's the beginning of the year. We should look back at the beginning of some of our most favorite and beloved comic book characters. We started last week with the one who started it all in a sense. Yes. With Superman. Superman. Uh, and we found out that he actually landed in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, and he's kind of a jackass. And he's always kind of yeah, been Yeah, he really one, has kind of always been a jackass. Which is fine. Uh, but he drugged a man. Yep. And left him in his own apartment. Yep. And stole well, his identity. Drugged him and then redrugged him. Yeah, drugged him multiple times. Drugged him twice. Oh, and let the bad guys kidnap him. That's true. Realized when, oh, they're not going to kill mm-hmm. him, he's mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. And just left him. Mm-hmm. Yep. So uh then he killed that homeless guy. Yeah. Took his pocket change. Yeah. Yep. We hey, you don't know if we're telling the truth or not. Go That's back and true. listen to find That's out. That's true. That's right. Uh we do All know that he he killed Bizarro as a kid, but that's, that's true, also a previous one. So the next big hero that makes sense then, uh, just chronologically kind of to even going Aquaman. year-wise, is, uh, no, Aquaman came out in 40, 41. Oh, did he really? Yeah. Um, wow, and you have so much knowledge. I do, but it's books. so useless. Eh. 
Well, it's a not good in this form. arena. It's no, it, it's perfect yeah, for yeah. this. But like, where else do I? It's things that I remember from a kid, from being a kid, and it's just I have a bunch of family feud. Uh, yeah. Maybe? Oh, I know. I'm great for that. Yeah. I, I feel like I need to quit calling it useless knowledge yeah. because when I say something, people are like, oh, that's cool. But then when they describe me, like, oh, yeah, Zach, he has a bunch of useless knowledge. Mm. And I'm just kind of like selling myself short to begin yeah, with. Yeah, because you're pre-labeling it. Exactly. Right? So I have a lot of random knowledge, I think is yeah. what I'm going to start calling yeah. it. Uh, I just don't know where it's good for. But in this mm. form, for it those. works. Yeah. I'm, I'm um, grateful for it. So we're going to look at Detective Comics and the appearance of... Batman, Ooh. the first appearance here. And what we're going to do is no, with no, no, Superman. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, there's actually a good, I, I will say from the first appearances, one of the portrayals of the character I really like, and it's really cool to see. Uh, there's a lot of questionable things. Mike, I brought in uh, a copy for you to have your own, like follow yeah. along copy. Yeah. Oh boy. That I'll give to you here in a second. But also oh, I, I brought in, yet. no, not yet. Yeah, you gotta sure. wait. Whatever. You gotta wait. Uh, if you're a good boy, just when like we get my, home, just like my wife. <laughs> so, uh, I also brought in my copy of Batman Chronicles volume one. And mm. what it was is back in like 2005, they put together, I got this for Christmas for my brother, actually. Oh, very nice. You got uh, that for Christmas? Yeah. This Christmas? Yeah. Okay. Why? It's so marked up. Like there's so many note tabs in it. This is all just from today. Good God, man. There's a reason why. Okay. And, uh, all okay. right. So I brought in my copy, and what it is is... There's at least a dozen tabs hanging out of this thing. Okay. And so it's it's all very instrumental to this episode. <laughs> um, and what it is is they basically collected, like, the first uh, 11 appearances that he had in Detective Comics, and then it's the very first issue of Batman 1. Yeah, okay. Um, so The very first issue of Batman 1? Yes. Wait, there's a Batman 1? Or... Batman issue 1. Okay. Well, I thought there have been I just like almost, year I, one. I thought you were making like a uh, yeah. No, I get that. I thought you were making a Batman one joke, and no, I was going to say no. no, it's Batman well. No, not Batman well <laughs> from the from tick. the tick. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the, the old one? Oh, right? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. original. No, I I liked them all. I like yeah. the humor in the tick. The new one's great. Yeah, but you're talking about the one with the Warburton, original right? Warburton. Oh, even the old animated Batman one. Well. Even as a kid, I loved it. Yeah. So, um, that guy. Every time I see him in a movie or whatever, the you guy that played that? Batman well, oh, that's all I can think of. I can't take the dude serious. Oh, poor guy. Batman was. So uh, it's a lot of Batman adventures, and I have gone okay. through and I have marked certain things in here. And as mm -hmm. Mike has pointed out, there are a bunch of tabs <laughs> a from here. Yeah. And by the time it's all said and done, I'm going to have you guess. I'm not going to show it to you anymore because uh -huh. we're going to, uh -huh. it'll be part of it. Okay. But we'll see if you can figure out what these tabs are while we go through our episode. You might not, and it'll be a nice little all cool right. thing for me to okay. get to. All right. But we're going to start with what started it all, and that is Detective Comics number 27. Um, what I've done here what for was this the first episode. 26? Um, Detective Comics 1 through 26. Right, but I'm saying, like, what was it? Uh, there was something called, like, there was a spy one in there. I didn't uh, read too much before. Um, I feel like we've covered something that was oh, a detective comics oh, okay. early. all right because if you know on on this channel i for some reason always love just older stuff in general yeah uh, uh it's part of me with my random knowledge of being a fan of history in general too so um you said this was 27 yeah number 27 okay. is where batman appears back in may of 1939 all right um but what i have for us to cover in this episode is the first two solo adventures of Batman okay. appearing in Detective Comics number 27 and 28, followed by, and I jumped around, obviously, through this collection, too. So I can tell you, Mike, I haven't read through all of this. Okay. So right. that, that can give you a clue about what these yellow notes are. Um, that little, doesn't shock me. A little bit of racism in the original uh, Detective Comics. I can Comics. tell you, even reading through this, <laughs> like flipping through this, Mike, yeah. There's not even there's a little bit of racism yeah. oh, in the collection it. here. It's just it was the time. It, it was, was, and yeah. that's that's people were uninformed. Yeah. And it's not an excuse, obviously. No, it's not. But, sure, but I'm saying if you go back no, in history, you're going to yes. run into yes. a lot of yes, that. yes, yes, sure. yes, yes. Um, so you can be sure to find that. But did you think for a second that I was like, eh, it was the time. It was fine. No, no. Oh, okay. No, All I right. feel like I'm just trying to. I got you. Sure. I don't want people to be like. You know, Mike, Mike, I know how Mike feels, but Zach didn't say anything. Fucking Jeff. 
<laughs> it would be je- no, no. You're not gonna pull me over <laughs> with this anti-Jeff rhetoric. It's I'm not gonna Jeff. be. It's all Jeff. I'm not gonna be taken down that path. So, um, Turn we have off, the Jeff. first Turn two Batman adventures. Okay. Then we have the first appearance of Robin, which actually takes place before Batman issue number one. Mm. And then I have. The first story in Batman issue one, because okay. it is the origin of another famous Batman character. Great. So not only are we looking at the beginning of the Batman, Riddler. we're looking at. Did I get it? No, you didn't. But Damn it is it. the villain in the very first issue of the solo Batman comic. Okay. All right. Um, but so we're looking at multiple origins in a way. And also, if we have time, I just bra- uh, got onto the uh, mm. an add on of the secret life of Catwoman of a ridiculous origin they tried to uh, explain away to her if we get to oh, that. Oh, wow. She also does technically appear in Batman issue number one, Would she a but big, not the story we're focusing on. Is she a big cat trainer? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Those are small cats. Oh, okay. She's a small cat <laughs> trainer, maybe. <laughs> Those are house cats. Here's the thing. <laughs> I, I, Nobody I, ever I, says that. I'm a small cat <laughs> trainer. <laughs> Watch me put this tiny chair in his mouth. <laughs> you know, you know what's so funny is this is probably going to be somebody's first first episode, that's right, that's and they're right, going to yeah. be like, "I like, don't know what, what is what wrong with these people." Exactly. Yeah. And who's Jeff? Ah, <laughs> uh, so uh, Detective Comics. Before I give you this, Mike, uh, I wanted to go through because I found this very interesting. Mm. In the very first issue of Detective Com- Detective Comics for May of 1939, mm-hmm. in the opening, like you open the cover, mm-hmm. Batman is on the cover, yeah. obviously, in his introduction uh, sure. issue. But on the inside cover, there's like a crime never pays, like infographic kind of explaining facts so around need to tell crime you in the time. The crime never, yeah. never pays. So okay. I wanted to read these to you just in Please. case you were unaware. Please. Uh, did you know that bullets betray no less than fingerprints, Mike? Here, I'll read it in my radio voice, Wait, too. Wait, what? I'm just reading how it says. Forensic ballistics, the scientific study of missiles, is a great... <laughs> inc- <laughs> is the a scientific g- study of missiles? M-I-S-S-I-L-S. Okay. Right? M- m- yeah. Missiles? Missiles. Missiles. Is a great... I had the missiles <laughs> when I was a kid. Is a great aid in crime detection. An individual firearm will literally stamp its own fingerprint. Oh. No two guns are alike, and each marks the bullet it shoots. Today, all scientifically trained detectives possess the necessary uh, the necessary qualifications to act as experts and can yeah. tell what type of weapon discharges a bullet. Yeah. So they're already telling kids, hey, every cop that's trained on it can mm. just be like, that gun fired that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 I've seen that before. Like the striations. Yeah. There's a big word. There you for go. You. So we're, yeah. we're, we're telling kids about this back in 1939. Sure. Right? Yeah. Uh, there's also one. Did you know about it? Don't a tra- be a goof. A, a tra- Don't shoot anybody. A traveling crime headquarters, Mike. What? A police headquarters on wheels, an automobile trailer that can speed directly to the scene of a suspected or known crime. An automobile trailer delay. cannot speed by it does, itself. Without delay. And it's used by the Nassau County Police Detective Division Nassau? in New York. Like Florida? It, no, in New York. Nassau, like Long Island. I know there's like the I Nassau Coliseum. Nassau was Florida. No, I think it's Long Island because Nassau Coliseum oh. isn't out there, right? Where have I been going? I mean, I think there might be a Nassau in Florida. Nassau is in Houston. Well, I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I thought there was a Nassau County in Florida. There, there probably is. Huh. I just okay. know the Nassau and because I think of, again, I think in sports. Sure. So I think Nassau Coliseum. Yeah. Damn it, Jeff. Yeah, You got to quit bringing on Jeff. So it talks about this. There's, uh, for some reason, it tells us that the Royal Canadian Mounted Police came into existence over 60 years ago in 1875. Mm. And today there is a total of nearly 3,000 in the force. Wow. So 3,000 3, Mounties. Mounties back in mm. 1939. Wow. Today, with inflation, that would be a million. <laughs> but I don't think it works like that with oh. people. Oh, sorry. Uh, the last two, my favorite, there was one where it talks about somebody robbed the U S treasury, uh, on some, of some gold they had on display, mm. but it turns out that they didn't make away with anything because it was <laughs> just gilded scrap. Iron. The U S treasury is, is, Hey, look at our gold. Look, punk. Hey, no, that's the thing. The gold, our gold, the gold they had on display was, was just, just scrap gilded iron. scrap iron. Yeah. Gilded. Yeah. Gilded. Gilded. Scrap uh, iron. and then my favorite of the crime never pays here was this story called. Hole in leaf clue. What? 
<laughs> hole in leaf clue. Okay. When a man was mysteriously shot to death, Luke May. Uh, I don't think it was mysterious. He, he was he shot, shot to, to death. death. Luke May, a uh, criminologist of Seattle Wash, called on the case. <laughs> the victim had been shot by someone outside the house. As he sat by the window in his study, mm. Luke May noticed, because we can't just call him Luke now. Luke May. Luke May noticed that if the shot had been fired close to the glass, the pain would have been broken. That's true. Outside near, near a tree, Good job, May, Luke looked, May. <laughs> May looked around for clues and glanced, at a, and glanced at a leaf on level with the window. <gasps> through it. Look at this yeah, leaf. Through it was a bullet hole. <gasps> Tracing the flight of the slug led him to a window in a room uh, in a rooming house across the street. The slayer had occupied the room. Slayer. His distraction. No, his description was secured and he was arrested. Wow. All because of that leaf with a Luke bullet hole in it, Mike. Luke found the leaf. Good job, Luke. So I will now hand you over your copy. Batman looks weird. As we will look and bounce into uh, the first very two original uh, episodes, issues of Batman here before. What uh, is a writ of habeas corpus? Oh yeah, it has that on there. You got to flip it upside down to read it. <laughs> oh no! But it's it's <laughs> uh, like that. it has something to do with about uh, uh about presenting the prisoner or uh like you have to deliver somebody here uh -huh. and there, right? Uh -huh. I don't know. I'm paraphrasing. Yeah, probably very poorly. I'm trying to read it upside down, and I can't. Here, you want me to? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, no, I don't You're, care. No, that care. All right, so. I was probably off on habeas hey, corpus. Habeas don't is my corpus. So let's look at Detective Comics. All number right. 27. I didn't do it, Commissioner. Uh, so we start off. Uh, Bruce Wayne's always Bruce Wayne. So you don't have to worry about that. God, this art is terrible. Yeah. Um, obviously, mine looks a little bit better, too, though, because it's. Oh, yours yeah. Is just, look at that. So yours it, is. The art is still terrible. It is. But yours is a scan of the original. Yeah. No, Batman changes a lot from very early on. Uh, sometimes it looks like he doesn't have ears at all. The perspective on this is just terrible. But uh, Bruce Wayne is Bruce Wayne to begin with, and all he's right. already f uh, friends with Commissioner Gordon yeah. when everything starts. Sure. So while he's over there, he's just like, hey, Commish, you know, anything going on? Dude, it's bad. <laughs> it's But it's early comics. We've talked about Yeah, I about got you. Sure, sure, sure. Um, Racism and bad writing. Yeah. Sure. Uh, but iconic figures um, that... Things, some things they don't want you to remember. But sure. Batman's safe so far, at okay, least. Okay, good. Uh, and what I read, I probably just haven't read enough. It's a lot of pipes. Oh, it is a lot of pipes. So, uh, while <laughs> Bruce Wayne is smoking his pipe uh, with Commissioner Gordon, Commissioner Gordon well, gets a call that he finds out that a local chemical king has been stabbed to death. A chemical king. Chemical king. I think that, that I think they're passing the pipe back and forth. Uh, because, look, in the first panel, Bruce Wayne does not have a pipe. In the third panel, Bruce Wayne has a pipe, but the commissioner does not have a pipe. They're passing that pipe back and forth. Well, no, Bruce has a pipe in both. He has a pipe. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, okay. he does. I'm sorry. Sorry, it's the it's, quality of it's the, scan. the quality of your scan. My sure. bad. I just wanted you to feel like, hey, you I just found one from to, 1939. I just wanted them to pass the pipe back and no, forth. No, it's not. That would have been well, fantastic. here's the thing too: is the commissioner is like smoking a cigarette while Bruce is smoking a pipe. Oh, that is a cigarette. Or a cigar. Oh. I don't know. Okay. All right. All right. I'm so now, sorry. Now, uh, this has been... Please continue. Uh, this has been Gotham Smoking <laughs> Habits Weekly. <laughs> also, a uh, little thing not mentioned, yeah. Gotham City. It's just really? the big city. Really? Outside huh. the town in these first ones. Okay. So, right. eventually it'll get there, but at least the first uh, episode's here. So, chemical, this chemical king has been killed. Mm -hmm. Uh he, uh, Do you remember in the 90s when the chemical kings were fighting the bloods and the crypts? No. Remember that was big? No. I remember them making like dance remixes probably. The Chemical Kings? The Chemical Kings. Yeah. That's that where the brothers like... came from. Oh, the Chemical Brothers. Gotcha. So, uh, <laughs> so see, this is why I have to power through something. Yeah, you do have to power through it. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so, uh, Commissioner says, hey, Bruce, if you want to just you know come along with me, you can. And he takes him to the crime scene with sure, him. Sure, what the hell? And while they're there, they find the son, or the son of the uh, Chemical King here, mm -hmm. uh, is there, and they're like his fingerprints all over the murder weapon and the guy's name is lambert lambert yes mm -hmm. okay. uh hello lambert they say you killed your father and lambert says i didn't do it commissioner basically i came in he right. was already stabbed in the back i flipped him over and pulled the knife out mm -hmm. and i asked him and he just said contract contract was his last words essentially right in front of that big open safe yeah and uh 
So what we come to find out is there is a secret contract that has been written up. Well, mm. actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting uh -oh. ahead of myself. We find out, though, that the Chemical King is has a partnership for his... The Chemical King. Yeah, his chemical company. This is the worst. Um, With three other men. Yeah. One of these other men has also been getting threats as well on his life. So the cops go over to see this man. Uh, he's been shot already. But when they get there, they notice that Batman is on top of the roof with these criminals. What has happened is... I'm, I'm kind of jumping through and just making sure. to make the story yeah, work. I got you, sure. There's a lot of things that are, you know, together. When the phone call comes in while Commissioner Gordon's there, Bruce Wayne Which, leaves. by the way, it's a two-piece phone. It is a two-piece phone. That's how old this is. Yes. Two-piece phone. It is a two-piece phone. One earpiece and then into the, the mouth. Thing. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Wayne knows that he's going to go s check on the other, you know, uh, partners yeah. in this chemical business. Yeah. So when he shows up, he gets to the house late. The guy's already been killed, but the thieves are trying to escape. He apprehends the thieves, steals the note that they have there with their orders kind of on it, and he flees. But in typical Batman fashion, when the cops get there, they see him. Sure. And so they think the Batman is associated with this. And these criminals say, the Batman. That's also. It's a dash. It is a dash. Yeah, it's, bat and man. it's not just Batman. It's the Batman He's all got the time. Some big ass ears. Not all the time, though. Okay. Uh, so um, what happens? He's got the note. Is yeah, but he like he grabs his second adversary in a deadly headlock, and with a mighty heave ho, sends the burly criminal See flying that. through space. Yeah, look at that burly criminal yeah. go. And he steals uh, he, he steals the note there, mm -hmm. and then it says the Batman reads the paper he snatched from the killers, and a grim smile comes to his lips. You want to know what he reads? Mm. Too bad, we're not going to tell you. Okay. And he just drives away in his car. That's how Batman gets around a lot Batman early on. In a car. His car. So. The there are now just two of the partners left. So one of the partners, uh, I believe his name is Stryker. No, no, okay. Um Cranny Rogers. Building. Rogers and okay. Stryker are the names of the two last remaining partners. Sure, two bad guys. Rogers goes to see Stryker. Uh Stryker's Ooh. assistant kind of knocks him out over Smacks the head. Smacks him right on the back of the head with a billy club. He does, knocks him out, ties him up, basically tells him. What it is here is I'm going to lower this giant glass thing mm -hmm. over you. Yeah. I'm going to release gas. It's going to kill you. This is how I dispose of guinea pigs I do tests on. Sure. Or Why that I or I kill them and then do tests on them. Because if you can do something as know, slow as possible, do it that way. So he's like, all right, I'm going to lower it down and then go down and turn the gas on. And he just leaves them. Right. He goes down. Sure. Typical sure. bad man. Uh, bad man. Bad guy fashion. Bad man. And uh, Batman leaps through. He jumps slides, under the glass. Yeah, slides underneath the ga glass, uh, wraps a cloth and like shoves it up there so the gas uh -huh. doesn't come out. Uh -huh. Then takes a wrench and busts. I he guess he grabs to have a pipe wrench. No, uh, Batman seizes a wrench from a table and leaps oh. for the glass. So he grabbed oh. it as he went in. Yeah, there he goes. Okay. I'm gonna. I'll defend the writing there. Good job, Batman. This looks like it was drawn by a 12 year old. Uh, I don't. No, it doesn't. Oh, Not come a 12 year old. Look at that. Look at that. What that? It looks better. I'm telling you, that some of is it looks rough, dude. Come on, that's rough. It literally says crash. Well, fine. <laughs> it's 1939. <laughs> They're rolling on top of each other. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> All right. as he gets out, this was probably a bad idea. Giving me my own. I copy. know. Yeah. I realize that now. Yeah, of now why sure. there's a reason why I took notes away from you too yes, early on. Yes, exactly. So, uh, I get reminded every but now and then. That's you're fine. Good. No, I will so shut up. You're you're totally fine. So, um, Stop the joke. so the guy comes back out, the assistant, and he's like, oh, wait, uh, Batman, what? Uh, the gas didn't work, you know? Oh, my God, my plan of leaving a guy here <laughs> and covering him with a glass that comes down real slowly <laughs> and me going downstairs and turning on the glass, the gas didn't it work. It didn't work. So uh, Batman disposes of him, and then the actual partner, uh, Mr. Stryker, shows up. Uh -huh. And Rogers tells Stryker... My assistant, or your assistant, tried to kill me when your I assistant got Jennings here. Your Jennings. Yeah, tried, tried to, kill to kill me kill when me. I got here. Yeah. Uh, Stryker doesn't see Batman's around. He's like, ah, so he didn't feel, uh, finish the job, then I'll take care mm -hmm, of you. Mm -hmm. So Stryker dives after Rogers to try to kill him so he can be the last remaining partner. Well, he says he's going to throw his body in an acid tank. So it's rough. Exactly. So he still, Batman steals the knife. And like all bad guy or all good guys did at that time, he gets him to write a confession. Uh huh. Sure. Um, 
And as they're about to take him in to the police, um, he pushes Batman away. He being Striker, our villain here, right. pushes Batman away, pulls a gun out, shoots, misses Batman as he shoots. But uh, Batman gives him a good old uh, Sock. left cross and Striker falls over the edge and into a vat of acid. So it's the first to where, guy that Batman's killed. Oh. Oh. That's the second guy Batman's killed. Who'd he kill first? Go back a little bit. The guy's on the roof. Oh, that's right. He the threw the guy He into threw the, one guy yeah. off top of the roof. Yeah, that's right. And he okay. punched a guy in acid. Well. This is, for a guy who doesn't kill, yeah. Batman has already killed two guys in his very first sure. appearance. Sure. Um, so, uh, he says a fitting end for his kind. And he's also kind of mean like yeah, Superman about it too. Kind of a dick about it. Um, but then essentially he takes the, um, where am I at? Oh, there we go. Uh, Roger said that the Batman went through the skylight. Basically Rogers wins and tells commissioner Gordon everything that happened. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, and he's passed, he's passed this all along to Bruce Wayne and Bruce Wayne says a very lovely fairy tale commissioner indeed trying to like play it off like oh no i'm not this batman guy sure. yeah um and then it just ends where it's like you know yeah uh what is oh bruce wayne is a nice young chap but he certainly le- must leave a bo- damn if i can only talk <laughs> bruce wayne is a nice young chap but he certainly must lead a boring life seems disinterested in everything mm. and then it ends with a panel bruce wayne returns home to his room a little later, his, his door slowly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he has a room in his house. Um, uh, a little later, his door slowly opens and reveals its occupant. If the commissioner could see his young friend now, he'd be amazed to learn that he is the Batman. The Batman. And that is the end of our very first. What does that last one say? A little weird panel. Oh, uh, watch for the new thrilling Batman oh, okay. story next right. month. Gotcha. Our next story. Um, it'll These be another ears one. are so weird. That's... There's a later on, like we're not here here, just to show you because we're not going to cover it. Yeah. But within the first 10 appearances of Batman, Uh we're back to a Batman, you know, already. Yeah, he changes. And so this is within a year. Yeah. That we go from here. Gotcha. Already to here. So he does become. They were like, hey, we sold some of those. Uh, Get my nephew off of drawing. Yeah. See, I would say maybe we start to see it develop kind of around here. He has Uh longer ears. Yeah. So by 34. So by about the seventh. Oh, yeah. Look at him. He's oh, really a developing. Little bit, a little About bit the time Robin that. shows up. So that's before. It's even before that. I would oh. say we're looking at 32. So about the fifth one in. Okay. About five in, he finally finds okay. his. The art does get better. Yeah, there's some. Yeah. Just over time, it gets a little bit better. Sure. Um, But so a second adventure, uh, Bruce Wayne already starts. First, I should say that they make fun of a kid. Uh, his lisp or his speech impediment, something to start off this Neat. first episode. It says Wuck Street. Don't know what that means. W U X T R Y Wuck Street. Uh, I think he's saying X Street, but it's spelt with a W for some reason. And then it says a hundred thousand dollar jewel robbery. J O O L. Oh no, jewel. Jewel thieves. Jewel robbery. Pool fifth sensational robbery. I feel like that's super English? offensive. I'm not going to. I don't know. I was kind of going more New Yorker. Jewel robbery. But it's, and they're like, you know, Wextry. So uh, I don't know if it's just them making fun of the way the kid talks or an accent or what well, the they're kid's doing here. He's kind of goofy looking too. He is. He's, he's hawking papers yeah. on the uh, corner. Also, Mike, something I just noticed that I find funny. If you look mm-hmm. up, um, it says Batman by, and I know it says mm. it's, it's supposed to be Robert Kane. Or Bob Kane, who we've talked about with him and Bill Finger. Why do you abbreviate Robert? Robbed. R O B apostrophe T. Robbed Kane. I have never seen the word Robert. I hadn't until then. Like but that. also, it has the. Uh, Why wouldn't you just put Bob? Well, he does eventually put Bob Kane. Yeah, but I'm saying. I don't know. Um, it'd save you two characters. But it also has the scales of justice. Scales so it looks like justice. the Batman by justice. <laughs> <laughs> Justice Rupp Kane. Or maybe so he's a Supreme Court justice. Anyway, yeah, so back to our story. Um, 
Batman, just like Superman, uh, mm-hmm. likes to be a super uh, <laughs> ass sometimes. Yeah. And he is going to bend the law to his own liking here very early on sure. in his very second appearance. It says, that night, Bruce Wayne, the Batman, dials a number and then disguising his voice, speaks. And he says, hello, Gimpy. This is Commissioner <laughs> Gordon. Hello, Gimpy. This hello. is Commissioner Gordon. Is that, what, is that yeah, how, that's how I need to relate yeah. that? All right. <laughs> Hello, Gimpy. Hello, Gimpy. This is Commissioner Gordon. I don't think that's a good voice, but I'll keep doing it. Did you get... Oh, I can't read. Did you get the information about the Jewel Gang? If you did, you better spill it, or else you'll be back in the pen to stay. Well... So he's impersonating in that just flawless commissioner. I loved Gordon. it. Yeah, I loved I it. I loved it. Uh, I channeled uh, Gary Oldman, mm-hmm. honestly, mm-hmm. from the Nolan Batman Gary series. Gary Old London. Dash Man. Old Dash Man. Gary Old Man. Um, but no. Uh, <laughs> but aside from that, he's impersonating the commissioner to basically get. It says Gimpy is a stool pigeon. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so in case you were curious, that's who Gimpy is, and he's in the employ of the police department. Having a criminal record, he has access to the haunts of the underworld. Oh boy! So Gimpy tells uh, well, who he thinks is Commissioner Gordon that look, Chief Frenchy Blake is behind the gang, and they're going Frenchy to Blake Frenchy Blake, and they're going to pull a job tonight at the apartment on the uh, of the Vandersmiths. The it's the Vandersmith. truth. Vandersmith. Yeah. It's the truth. Help me. It's the truth. So it says that night, and it's oddly drawn where it's day out time, it uh, outside daytime. for it to be yeah. night. But still, um, that night, the slick jewel thieves have already pulled the job, and they're making their escape to the roof, where Batman, it looks like he's about to throw a chimney on somebody. Well, that's what I'm saying. Why is he moving the chimney? But it's just terrible art in that uh. part, I think. Uh, it, I think he's like trying to like peer around it. I think it's a scene like it's trying to be cool and like lean yeah, in. But, I got you. Uh, it's <laughs> so suddenly like a huge bat, the figure of the Batman sells through the air. The Batman downs one of the jewel thieves as the other uh, others fearful shot for, uh, from a gun might attract the police draws the ever silent knife because, you know. The ever silent night. The ever silent night. Or it's a brand that they're hawking already. Like, hey, Ooh. when I want to stab somebody in silence, I make sure to buy my ever silent or use my ever silent night. Well, with Christmas just passing, we we had our ever silent night. <laughs> uh, hey, he kicks him off the top of the thing here, and he goes, "Yeah, yeah." So Batman has uh, thrown him off the top of the roof. Okay, that's another killer. Killed the third guy. Uh, and it says, uh, meanwhile, the other thief, unfa, or oh no, I'm sorry, unsteady. Rises to He's a feet. He is by this Batman. He turns and he shoots Batman. Oh. Um, nope. Sorry. Sorry. I got oh, confused. He tried to shoot. He him. tries to sh- shoot Batman. Batman. I got ahead of myself. One. He did. Uh, there's is Batman wearing a wristwatch in that thing where he's punching somebody. It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? It's like but he's no, got a Timex on. I think it's the tie <laughs> around for the rope. Oh, okay. That he has. All right. So there's a whole page essentially worth of panels that is committed to showing Batman tie rope, throw it around a yeah. flagpole, yeah. swing off of this building, and do a flip and amaze the cops. Mm-hmm. This story is six pages long, wow. and there's a whole sto- a whole page essentially. So on this one, I can't – like you say, it's a bad scan, but yeah. does he have a bat on his chest, or is it is it plain? No, it's just plain. Oh, okay. He doesn't All have right. the bat logo yet. That okay. will show randomly too. All right. So he escapes, and uh, what happens, though, is as he's running away, like after he's downed mm-hmm. – one of the henchmen, he picks up the bag of jewels and he waits. And the cops see him and then he drops the jewels and he escapes like that. Mm-hmm. So the newsprints, Batman, head of Jewel Gang, oh. eludes capture of the spectacular or by spectacular leap. Is this the way they used to do headlines? They would just run on as far as they could and then, like, yes. it was all left justified? Yeah. Is that what? Okay. I guess. I have sure. No <laughs> Everything was um, left justified. And then it's like, the why 30s. is the type, uh, the font that large? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so. What we have here is now the... Uh, I like how Batman is in quotes. It is. It's like Batman. Yeah. So f- we're back at uh, Frenchie Blake's apartment, who is the real orchestrator of this game. I'm telling you, if I've ever seen somebody who looks like a Frenchie Blake, that guy that is looks Frenchie like Blake. a Frenchie Blake. He kind of does, doesn't he? He has a monocle. He has like... The like, like conquistador a, uh, like a, facial he's a, hair. He's a Svengali kind of, you know... 
What does that mean? Like he he hypnotizes people with his oh, is that what? eyes and his hands. Oh, okay. I didn't know that that was the yeah, phrase a, for it. He's a Svengali. Okay. I think that's probably a a, a slur of some kind, but <laughs> I don't mean it. <laughs> First, I have to make sure that my stance is known. <laughs> Jeff the Gypsy. Uh, well, quit going after <laughs> Jeff. So Mike, sorry. I'm sorry again, Jeff. Uh, it's all Mike. Uh, so um, it is me. But while they're talking about, like, oh, the Batman did us a favor, now the cops don't think it's us. Yeah. While this is all going on, Batman's just hanging from his rope outside of his window <laughs> listening. <laughs> Wait, what is this guy's name again? Frenchie Blake. Frenchie Blake. Frenchie Magoo? Frenchie Blake. Frenchie Blake. How do you think he speaks? <laughs> you want me to do a yeah, voice? Yeah, I want you to do Frenchie Blake. <sighs> I don't know where I got and off now, on doing voices. Frenchie Blake. The Batman certainly. <laughs> I didn't know what to go with. Oh, that's uh, perfect, though. Okay. The Batman. The Batman. And the Batman has solved this crime it, for us. It's kind, of, it's kind of like part Conan O'Brien. <laughs> it, you know, it is. Uh, yeah. That's kind of what I'm going for. All that's, I think of is like wacky races. Yes. You know, that yeah, kinda, like snidely yeah. whiplash. Uh-huh, yeah. Like I expect. The Batman. Frenchie Blake does look like one of his henchmen <laughs> to just stand by him going, <laughs> <laughs> like, you got it, boss. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll admit this. It's a little embarrassing, but yeah. um, just to make it Frenchie a little Blake? less, uh, make it a little less embarrassing for me, I'll throw my brother under the bus too. Mm. When we get really tickled at something and get really laughing, yeah. we kind of muttly laugh. Kinda really? Like the, <laughs> You get like, like the, yeah, the we just get like so yes. yeah. yeah, so I'm sure that's that's huh. uh very cool to see. Yeah, I'm sure. But so Batman basically just listens in. Here's their new plan. You know, there's a whole like like section of of and I've learned this over the last probably month. Yeah, there's a whole section on YouTube that's just people that can't stop laughing. You ever seen that? No. Mm-hmm. Just look up. If you get some time sometime, uh, if, all right. look up, uh, because this is all I watch now when I go to bed. People laughing? No. Oh. I, it leads to that. Oh, okay. So you start off, you just search for news bloopers, because uh-huh. I love news bloopers. Okay, news bloopers are pretty funny. I love them. But I feel like after like See after a weatherman fall some... down? That's, a good, that's the best. You, wait, the, your favorites are the weatherman falling down? Oh, I love it. When they like, hey, look at the, you know, and just they just fall over or something, right, or they're right. wearing the green suit or whatever. You know. I always like the one where the other uh, anchors just get too tickled mm-hmm. about something. Like yeah. somebody misspeaks, yeah. and then they're all just too tickled. Yeah. And I they love can't, that. Yeah, yeah. But see, that's where it leads you. The algorithm then thinks, oh, you, just you like, like people, people laughing. getting, yeah. So now let's just show you videos of people laughing. So then you get into this, this, uh, tailspin of these videos where it's just people going, <laughs> you know, just laughing for, and then Man, where does it go? If next? you're not careful, you get into the family feud. <laughs> it leads you right into the Steve Harvey hole. I'll never, <laughs> I'll never forget uh, because it was. Uh, <laughs> Oh man! Uh, Remember so, when he got sued for the Steve Harvey hole? No, the no, Steve Harvey hole. It's a joke. I'm I was no, stupid. I was gonna make, I was gonna make something that I heard. Uh, I had somebody tell me once talking about uh, TikTok algorithms the mm. same way. Yeah, it's YouTube, and they were talking about. I was like, oh, like they're talking about the videos they get, and I'm like. I get some of those. That's kind of cool. Oh, I'd like to get more like that. And they're like, oh, well, I'm on this side of TikTok. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, there's sides of TikTok. And they're like, yeah, you know, this once you find this, TikTok. yeah, yeah. And like, once you go through this side and you get this side, then you get this side. I'm like, like there was like a way to mm. get to see. And I was like, all right. And I was like, well, how do I get? Because what was happening is this person had, it was like, <laughs> I don't remember how, it was, <laughs> how I got there, but somebody that she liked. Uh, that she would show me pictures of was just a really good, cool content creator. Okay. And I was like, well, how do you get to that person? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to follow yeah. them. And they go, oh. Practice, practice, practice. Well, no, they're, oh, they're on gay TikTok. I said, oh, oh okay. There is a gay TikTok? I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Uh, you know, how do you get to gay? And the person said, you get to gay TikTok through frog TikTok. And I go, are frog. the two. Did you just say frog? Or maybe it was the other way. Maybe it's okay. a frog TikTok through one way or okay. the other. All right. Um, all I know is I heard that and I was like, either that's very weird. Um, three things. I thought either that's really weird 
Um, and then the other two involve Alex Jones. Well, that's what I was going to say, right? <laughs> Alex Jones turned the I was like, I was like right. either either yeah. somebody was just like, Alex Jones was right, and that's yeah. how, that, how yeah. they're going to follow it. Sure. Or somebody was just like, this is how we're going to lead to it. And it'd be, you know. Somebody typed in Alex Jones, gay frogs, <laughs> into the chat GPT. Yes. And the AI said, oh, Gay TikTok. Uh, yeah. That's how that happens. Oh, man. Good old, good old Alex Jones. <laughs> there is some... There's Did some, you, speaking of that, you know, have you watched any of him in... TikTok, right? They're like... They've got an adult TikTok. I don't... Yeah, it's called OnlyFans. No, man. <laughs> I'm kidding. TikTok has their own little... Yeah. Oh. No, that's not oh. good. I don't know. Is it, is it one of those things that, like... Um, Do you it, remember the Snapchat bad stuff? No. Like, it would disappear? Well, I mean, like, right? I know the Snapchat app, obviously, like, that was part of the... There's my butt, and then it just disappears, <laughs> right? That, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my butt. On Snapchat. <laughs> I'm glad we waited until after... Crack. I, I'm glad we waited until after that phase for us to stop this <laughs> podcast. I would hate to come in and be like, I sent somebody a picture of my butt again on Here's Snapchat. my butt. <laughs> Here's my butt. Oh, disappeared. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we got right, completely sorry. off. Yeah, Snidely Whiplash said. So, uh, Frenchie Blake uh, essentially Frenchie sends his Blake. guys out. Uh, we got way off the rails. Oh, so, um, uh, and Batman stops them from their next job, mm-hmm. and then he hunts down Frenchie Blake, and he shows up, and he's like, hey, You know the I problem is man. Batman's head's too big in a lot of these. Oh, it is, for sure. But he tells Frenchie, like, hey, I've caught your men, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he punches him, ties his rope around him, and throws him out the apartment yeah, window. Yeah, he's just, like, hanging and out just the window hangs him there. there. Yeah. And he's, like, and, like, uh, Frenchie's, like, pleading for his life. And Batman tells him, keep quiet and listen. I want a complete written confession from you about those drill robberies or else I'll cut the rope. Yeah, yeah. He's now telling him, a- you either write. Now, granted, we have seen that mm-hmm. he... Um, is obviously the main villain here, so mm-hmm. I get this. Right. But if we didn't know the full story, I feel like Batman could easily get somebody else to write a fal- false conviction behind. Do you, do you think also if, throwing them out the window? Do you think if Batman saw like an old lady steal a like an onion or something, he would just punch her? Like let's let's say these old comics, right, where like there's some old lady and she's stealing onions. I don't know why onions, but yeah, she's stealing onions. And like she's trying to feed her family, but Batman doesn't know that. Oh, you know, because Bat- he doesn't ask many questions. No, Batman would for sure punch a He'd woman. He punch at an this old time. lady, right? I would also point out. I was reading this earlier. Uh, in one, in during <laughs> I one like of our, this one just says suddenly. <laughs> during uh, I was gonna get a dig in. I was gonna say during one of our many breaks tonight. Oh, sorry, uh, no. that's my fault. I don't care. It says his earliest stories reveal Batman as he was initially conceived. A mysterious dark nemesis of crime, a no nonsense mm. vigilante driven by some inner de- demon to eliminate society's malefactors. Later, with the introduction of Robin, we are presented to the more human side of our protagonist. Not so fierce, perhaps, <laughs> but every bit is resolute. No, oh. I can tell you that's not the case. All right, let's wrap up Frenchie. Batman, so, punch first, ask questions so later. So, Batman pulls uh, Frenchie back name. up. He writes out the confession here. Yeah. And then it says, as you said, suddenly, Frenchie, suddenly. A- after signing the confession, dives across the table at Batman. Yeah, tries to attack and him. And Batman just n- punches him across he the face. He knocks the crap out of grabs him. Grabs him back up, and Frenchie pleads, don't hit me like that again, please. Don't oh, hit me. Very nice. That Good was job. a different voice than the last You're going to get some voice work. Oh, man. Have I told you I did do voice work at one point? No. Time? What'd you do it for? There's a YouTube. Gay TikTok. <laughs> I, w- I would be honored if they sure, would have me. Sure, yeah. Um, but not that any, frog TikTok. Any, no, even frog TikTok. Any TikTok I would frogs. take, except Jeff. T- I mean, any TikTok Jeff. I would be down for. <laughs> um, no. Um, I. Uh, that was just a terrible. Uh, well, what we're talking about, uh, voice work. I did. I'm not going to tell you the name of it because then you can hunt it down. I voiced, funny enough, um, and it's not that uh, it, it's a great project. I just, I like to be able to control who knows about it and who doesn't. Uh, but back about, oh man, it's been a while. I was still at the radio station. Okay. So like seven, eight years ago, right? Um, I somehow made friends with and connected with this uh, guy who lived up in Canada. Okay. And he animated through a program that he had. He wrote full scripts and mm. animated um, like Marvel adventures and stuff. 
so they're comic book related, but they were funny and humorous, and it wasn't really like they involved the characters, right? But it was just strictly satirical and stuff like okay. that. And so there's um, who'd you do? I did in one in the Spider Man uh, episode. I did Sandman. Mm. And then the one that I did most that I even had an IMDb page for oh. for a while until somebody else with my name decided to commandeer it and oh, they got it. For real? Yeah. Oh, wow. And they just combined the two and he was given credit for my work. And I was like, oh, no, it's different when it's like, yeah, he has his own and maybe I don't have one. But the, that's my voice. Yeah. Um, but um, I played uh, Captain America a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. It was just like this. Yeah. You know, just, just straight up super like nasally, that. congested, sexy. Hey, all every, get out. Hey, everybody, I'm Captain yeah, America. Yeah, hey, everybody, I'm Captain America. Look Crit. at my shield. Yeah, <laughs> lick my shield. Is no, I said look at my shield. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Lick, lick my Sorry. shield. Have a hard time getting the tongue across the teeth there. <laughs> Chris Chris Evans can suck it. Lick my shield. Lick my shield. All right, so Batman <laughs> wraps this up with a big note. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, uh, wow. So, yeah, he, he just wraps Frenchy it up. He takes Frenchie Magoo here and ties him up into a bundle and just, and just dumps him. him in front I of the love, police station. Though, essentially, he has the note, and it says, uh, Batman writes this note after he drops off Frenchie Blake, and it says, yeah. Dear Commissioner, I thought you might like to have the leader of the Jewel Gang uh, am also leaving his confession and mm. stolen jewels mm. till we meet again. I remain, and he does not sign it. The Batman, it's the, and then it's a picture of it's a, a bat. Picture of a bat. So Batman took the, the bat. time to just write the, and then draw a, a picture of mm -hmm. a bat yeah. on the letter. That that ends the before we get to the last two stories that I have yeah. for this. Um, one thing I want to cover real quick, we're not going to get to any more of the solo Batman adventures. Yeah. There is one I brought up him being shot and the next appearance he does get shot. Mm. And there's a panel in here I wanted to make sure to touch on because it's him at the doctor. And I thought this was the <laughs> stupidest way. It's Batman at the doctor? It's Batman. No, it's Bruce Wayne at the doctor. Oh, okay. So he's he's been shot. So he's at the doctor. Okay. And the doctor says, it's all right now, Bruce, but how did you shoot yourself? When there are no powder marks on your flesh. No more monkeys. So doctors, so doctors like, how'd you shoot yourself? There's like, no, you know. Yeah. And Bruce goes, I do funny things sometimes, Doc. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it someday. Thanks for everything. I hey, just Doc. shoved this bullet in real slow. <laughs> hey, Doc, I do funny things sometimes, like shoot myself sometimes randomly. Sometimes I shoot myself when I'm sitting around. Oh, just because I get bored. The life of a billionaire playboy. Everybody's you know got to I mean? have a hobby, Doc. Mine is shooting myself. <laughs> so, oh man! All right, should we take a small commercial break? Let's take. This is the perfect time because then we'll come back and close out uh, our look at Batman with the first appearance of Robin that we'll cover pretty and, quickly. And I have questions about Robin here. And then we also have the first appearance of a big time villain as well. We'll get to that all next after we hear. A uh, quick word from our sponsor, uh, Batman Wrist Ropes. And welcome back. Well, thanks. Um, Mike, I'm oh, glad. that was to the audience. No, I'm I mean, sorry. welcome back to you, too. Oh, thank you. So while you were gone, we honestly just sat here in silence yeah. until the commercial break was over. We did. Um, you know what's funny? I'll, I'll keep... I didn't think Bill Cosby still did those Puddin' Pop commercials. I know, right? Yeah. it's You would think they would change him by yeah. now. That's a bad taste. You but... ever want to feel sleepy? Okay. <laughs> Out of all the voices we did, I didn't think that was going to be one that... Oh, man. I'm sorry. That's okay. At least we get to cover my favorite hero and the one that gets us canceled. Oh. So, <laughs> I kid. But what we have now is we jump ahead to Detective Comics number 38, where we are introduced to the, sensa the sensational character find of 1940, uh, Robin, the Boy Wonder. And why? Uh, okay. I don't, here's my question. Yeah. Right? In this, uh, this is the cover. Of yeah. Detective Comics. How the inside is also basically the same of, thing. Of number number 38. I have I have a couple questions. One, From Batman. April of 1940. Batman's the goofy looking Batman up here at the top with the big ass ears. Yep. Right? But then down here, he's more of the like 60s, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Batman that we're so accustomed to. Yep. And then why is he, why is Robin jumping through a paper hoop? Because he's from the circus? 
Remember, his but parents are... Batman's holding up the, the paper hoop? He just looks cooler. It does not look cooler. Who else is going to be holding up the hoop, Mike? Nobody needs to hold up a hoop. Then what's he going to jump through? <laughs> he just jumped through my heart. <laughs> oh, I think he jumps firmly through all of our hearts oh, through this, Mike. Poor Robin. So Why we, is his short so short? I don't by know. The way. I think he just liked to be able to move. He liked letting okay. his thighs breathe a bit. Oh, yeah. When sure. he was doing all them judo sure. kicks. He gets, he gets, They're judo throws. I don't know why I said judo kicks. He gets kicks. a lot of those uh, those ingrown hairs on the inside of his thighs yeah. if he covers them up. Exactly. So he wants to show sure. my, I think maybe. Like I'm circus. Sweat. This is gonna sound. This is gonna sound super weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do want to point out before I say this, this is a completely fictional character. Um, Robin. Yeah, he's yeah. got he's got some pretty toned thighs though, man. He does. Yeah, but like, he has, he's uh, he has some big ass thighs. He does, him and Batman both. Like but they, Batman's got the big thighs. They don't skip on leg day. No, they're they're all about leg day. They are definitely them thighs. Batman is. Hey, thick thighs save lives, especially in Gotham. So I don't like the way that Batman's <laughs> hand is like going in his butt there though. <laughs> That's kind of no, weird. It, it's held behind his back, but it's folded to where like his oh. knuckles are pushing into his butt. Doesn't he's, it look he's like, like that? he's pushing his crotch out? <laughs> look at this! Presenting the sensational find of 1940, my crotch, <laughs> <laughs> my back crotch. Oh, hey, man. he doesn't have a hyphen in his name anymore, though. No, he doesn't. Uh, by 1940, we got rid of that damn hyphen. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, it was um, the war. They were short on hyphens. So we had to give it yeah. up. No, they save a hyphen. We, save they a life. We hadn't joined the war yet. This is April 1940. Well, we were getting ready. That, uh, well, I mean, Pearl Harbor we happened We needed in all December. the hyphens we needed, or we could right. get. So uh, what happens here is if you know Pearl Dash Harbor. Robin's story, funny enough, it's a lot similar to how it was originally. Yeah. So yeah. Um, the circus. I'm going to kind of just go over the origin of Robin here, uh, where it says that, you know, there, the flying Graysons are a big yeah. attraction for the circus. One night, uh, he passes by uh, Mr. Holly's room, mm-hmm. and Holly's the owner of the circus. It's mm-hmm. Holly Circus, mm-hmm. and he overhears. Um, and if you pay us, we protect you. Get it, Holly? And the other guy says yes. Or no, Holly says yes. I get it. You're gangsters. It's a protection racket. I'll call the police. And these guys are like, that's fine. You didn't want to pay us. Just know accidents will happen. Accidents will happen as well. They tell them as that's they right. leave. It just so happens the next night, Bruce Wayne is obviously there um, to watch the show. And while the Graysons are doing their uh, death-defying triple spin. Oh, my. Listen to that. I know. You hear that? I do. It's a lot of cackling. It is. But while... (laughs) (laughs) while I'm sorry, folks. I pulled you into our our real-world drama here. eh. We have some cackling going on in the background. We do. Is that the correct terminology? Is it cackling? I don't know. That's I, a cackle. I think it? of birds, and I think like a like a. No, you're thinking crackle. Oh, you're thinking grackling. Oh, that's a, it's when a they dance get those together, kids do on the TikTok. They, they do the grackling over on on, the bird, on bird TikTok. Bird TikTok. So <laughs> bird TikTok. Uh, oh man, that's probably a thing. Here's the thing. It, here's the thing. Is I'm showing how old I am, even at 34, that we have lost any. Any youngsters, our demographic is just drying up sure, right now. Sure, sure. Well, like, I'm sure they were waiting I, to listen every week. I, when this I know, comes I know who's drying up, and it's definitely our demographic. Yeah, <laughs> they've been trying for a while now. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> uh, oh man. So his parents were flying through the air. Oh, his parents were flying into the air. I'd and like to they welcome fell in. fell down. I'd like to welcome in. <laughs> Apparently, according to Mike, and maybe I took this the wrong way, our octogenarian. All the menopausal women that are listening. <laughs> Listen, ladies. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. So, Do you like wrist ropes? Uh, Batman <laughs> wrist ropes. Uh, so the Graysons are doing their act when all of a sudden the rap, the rap snaps. The, the rope rap snaps. snaps. The rope snaps. And they fall to um, John, their deaths. Mary. Hey, does that sound familiar? It does. Because it's the same name as uh, Clark Kent's parents. Yeah. Clark Kent? Oh, yeah, that's right. It was John, John and, and Mary. Mary. Yeah. Exact same. Yeah, those are uh, very generic names. Uh, so, and obviously, young Dick Grayson sees his parents <laughs> uh, killed in front of him. Uh, uh, we do find... It'll come up a little bit later, but it is referenced because Batman shows up. They'll, they'll, they'll be killed. The, 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 they'll be killed. Yeah, the, the, 
they'll be killed. And then somebody in the background goes, because they did that. And we do find out that it was those guys basically telling them, Holly, this is what happens when you don't pay. Will you pay us now? And the owner of the circus is like, yes, I'll pay. I don't want anybody else to die kind of thing. Well, okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop you one more time. Mm-hmm. This is going to be our longest episode ever. But um, the guy tells Dick Grayson that his parents are dead in front of a bunch of clowns. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't fully tell him. He, the, the head of the circus, Dick Grayson, goes up and goes, "Are are they? Uh, oh no, they!" And the guy goes, "I'm afraid so, son." And there and are at least seven clowns, clowns behind, behind him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's even like it's your typical ones, but even the ones you would think of, like yeah. for lack of a better term, I don't know how to describe it. Aside the sad hobo clown that's right, back there, sad hobo clown, like from like the 40s that you know, the, Emmett Kelly. Oh, there you go. Thank nice. You. There's, a, there's an octogenarian pull they'll appreciate. Oh, man. That's why they keep coming back for yeah, more. Yeah, buddy. Was, they just, they uh, un, undried a little bit. Well, I mean, here's the, Kelly. here's the thing. We are, I, d- I never thought about this, Mike. We do cover a lot of public domain That's true. Stuff. That's true. <laughs> stuff from the 40s. Yeah. Oh, man. What if it is? And I just didn't know that. Like, Metamucil. A, uh, see, that's what we need to do. We're just yeah, reaching we out to the wrong. Yeah, that's good. Uh, but. Back to uh, Batman basically just tells, you know, Dick Grayson, like, hey, I had a similar thing happen to know, me. How does he know Batman? No, Batman's already there. I said Bruce is at the circus. Oh, he's at while. the circus. So he shows okay. up and he tells Dick, like, hey, you know, I know you want to go after the people who killed your parents because they poured acid on the ropes. That's how they got oh it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, don't know if I said it like that. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they poured acid all over them. Oh, this one's a mess. All yeah, right. Either is. people will love this or hate it. We'll find yeah. out. Well, both. Yeah. So uh, he Batman basically tells him, like, a similar thing happened to my parents, and I made a vow to fight crime. Right. And Dick tells him, well, I'd like to do that, too. My parents fell from the sky also. Here's what's weird to me. In front of clowns. So uh, Dick says, then I want to, uh, want to also take me with you, please. And it says the Batman is reluctant. But the troubled face of the boy moves him deeply. Mm. And he goes, well, I guess you and I were both victims of a similar or of similar trouble. All right. I'll make you my aid. But I'll warn you, I lead a perilous life. Um, and, and then he puts him through some sort of satanic ceremony. And where Master they, Grayson says, I'm not afraid. It does look like that. It's like a candle in the background. Yeah. And they're holding hands, looking at each other with a hand raised to each other. I swear uh, that we, too, will fight together against crime and corruption and never to swerve from the path of righteousness. I swear it. Here's the thing, too. Batman is in full costume, and it looks like <laughs> Dick Grayson is in pajamas he while is, they're yeah. doing this. Yeah. All right, Dick, time for bed. So it essentially shows that Batman trains uh, Dick Grayson to be Robin. Wait, is that Batman? Is that him at the bottom? That little blurb of a man? Yeah, that's him at the bottom. Okay. Little blurb of a man. As far as swinging ropes. And then we get, we get into the story, and the story's not much. I can sum up the story very quickly. So He just, like, appears in costume Yeah, all of a sudden. All of a sudden, just to show, okay. like, hey, he's Robin. All right. Um, I'm assen- Robin. Essentially, uh, Bruce and Dick figure out that they're trying to figure out the racket that uh, I almost said Prince Zuko, which is super nerdy sure. because everybody knows – that that is Avatar, not the blue people, right. the last airbender, right. as in the Nickelodeon anime. Sure. Man, can't you see it? Boy, you just drove off all those old ladies. They don't know what you're talking That's about. That's okay. I brought in all the young dudes. Hey, guys. So. All the young dudes. Woo-hoo. Play sand volleyball and Top Gun. Um, <laughs> so, uh, we it's the same boss or mm-hmm. criminal uh lord that killed Criminal lord uh the chemical boys. robin's parents the chemical king yeah. uh, that killed robin's parents here who was named boss zuko boss zuko so he's the big one with the cigar yes he okay. is okay. uh and he talks like every gangster you would think i just want to read how he talks real quick please do i'm not even going to do a voice because i don't <sighs> come on kids love it all right get ready kids I'm reading this verbatim, though. I don't want people to think like I'm adding to it. Use your Bosco decoder rings and so listen carefully. this is how uh, Boss Zuko sounds, and I'm just reading everything that's sure. written as is. Yeah. 
because uh, the group basically the his informants are not his informants, but his thugs are kind of mm. delivering their uh, insurance taken away right. that they go and they right. kind of you know um, protection right there you go yeah. thank you gotcha. the the protection right was brought up yeah. so they're delivering payment and they give it to him and uh, boss Zuko is basically telling that it isn't enough see you've got to you got to mm. get more money out of our customers see How i offensive. want you to go to the butchers the tailors <laughs> the butchers. laundries and the rest and milk them dry see? see that's right at the end of every single line yeah, sure. it says C, see all caps see it's like, hey, how do gangsters talk? They all say C at the end of it. I all right, got it. it. C. Yeah. All of them get it. C, even the newsboys and the rest of the small stuff. And if they don't play ball, you know what to do. C, start tomorrow night. <laughs> um, essentially, though, Batman takes down uh, this whole racket mm-hmm. with the help mm-hmm. of Robin. Uh, Wait, well, literally knocks heads together. Yes. Wow. Um. And Robin is able to kind of help him as well, but they're uh, able to defeat Boss Zuko uh, and get him apprehended. Um, um, Batman throws a roulette table at somebody. No, he just flips it, I thought. He throws it. Oh, him. you're right. He yeah. does throw it. At- Here's a roulette table to play with, he says. And he jumps up as with he a... he chunks it to people. Giant roulette table and just throws it at people. It harkens back to Jesus flipping the tables of the... In the temple? Yeah. I don't remember him being like... Here, have some fun with this table. <laughs> yeah, punks. Granted, uh, Batman is not a direct uh, retelling of the story. Oh, it's not? <laughs> of Jesus like um, I thought he was. Like RoboCop is. So <laughs> RoboCop kind of is, yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. Uh, he walks on water, for goodness sake, in it. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's thinly felt. It's true. Um, essentially, though, they take down Boss Zuko, and that is our first appearance of Robin. I added it just to show. <laughs> Look how this bad guy goes. He's throwing all the money on the floor. The money. <laughs> Who cares about the crime? Think about the money. But it's just on the floor. What? I mean, big deal. <laughs> Our clean money is all dirty. Well, it's not he like he said he's floor. burning all the money. No, he's throwing it all on the floor. How dare he throw our how money on the floor? Son of a bat. Um, so... We are now our final, well, I'll add a little tidbit here to close it out about yeah. the Catwoman thing. But our final story, oh, yeah. we go to issue number one of Batman, which is just spring issue. It's 10 cents. This came out in 1941, uh, the very first uh, issue number oh, one. Oh, yeah, look at that. And what we get here is the legend of Batman. Who and I included, he is and how he came to be. And I included this here. This actually is taken from... Uh, Detective Comics number 35, oh. I believe. So this was actually uh, given back like about mm, six appearances in. They give this backstory, and it's the same one as it's given then. So it's very similar to the backstory we know now. Here it is. So it appeared in uh, number Detective Comics number 33, so <laughs> 27, 28, 29. <laughs> Um, his seventh appearance, we get this origin story then for Batman. This is like five panels, and it goes through the entire origin story of him and Robin. Yes. Like, and it's these... just, just, boom, they're dead. Oh, now I swear. Oh, now we're friends. Oh, now I'm a bat. No. Oh, no, no. Robin's not in there at all. He. That's Bruce. Oh, that's Bruce. Yeah. Oh, so, I'm so sorry. No, that's fine. So, I the legend of the Robin. Batman, we get It's a very similar thing. His parents, uh, it says, one night, some 15 years ago, Thomas Wayne, his wife, and his son were walking home from a movie. Uh, a movie that we learn we want to talk about this random knowledge. Uh, Mike, here you go. If you ever have this trivia question come up, I'll help you out here. Uh, I believe it's uh, it's a Zora movie. I believe it's The Mask of Zorro is what they're seeing. Is that the one at in the, the theater when they get The Mask of killed. Zorro, is that is that what's shown in the Tim Burton Batman? I mean, that's it's from back on. I think so, but I think it's even in the comics before that, too. Really? I think so. I could oh, be wrong. Wow. Speaking of the Tim Burton Batman, I'm glad you brought that up, Mike, because there's something I'd like to point out about this when we get to it. Okay. Um, but so they're from I bet a movie. I've seen the Tim Burton Batman movie like 40 times. Really? Okay. I bet I've seen it that many times. I, I do enjoy the first one. Well, oh, both of them are really good. My buddy worked as the assistant manager at a theater. Ooh. at that time when it came out in 89 and so all we did was like play that and stay up all night in the theater oh that's yeah. awesome then. crawled around in the in the Things attic and found posters and all kinds of yeah that's really cool while batman's playing huh. no it's really it's gross because you know anyway yeah. 
So we get. I thought it was cool. Pop so um, they're pulled or uh, they're uh, mugged by a uh, criminal who ends up yep. becoming Joe Chill. There's you another Joe trivia Chill. question. I knew that one. Um, later on, uh, but Thomas is shot when he's sticking up for his wife um, as the guy's trying to steal uh, Martha's necklace. Right. It doesn't give her name here. We just yeah. know Thomas's. Yeah. Um, but he was trying to take the pearl necklace, right? Yes. Yeah. But essentially, ultimately, we find both out it's his pearls, mom. Right? Yeah, it is pearls. Both his mom and dad. And slow motion. Oh, we've seen it stuff, yeah. so many times over and over again. Yeah. But it's yeah. Um, but I did his, not know that he he became a master scientist and then a bodybuilder, though. Yeah. That's so what we should see here after his parents are killed, he it says that days later a curious and strange scene takes place. Mm. And it shows Bruce there, and he says, and I swear by the spirits of my parents to avenge their deaths by spending the rest of my life uh, warring off, or warring on all criminals. Warring on all criminals. He becomes a master scientist. Mm -hmm. He's able to do, uh, it says, he uh, trains his body to physical perfection mm -hmm. until he's able to perform amazing athletic feats. Until he's able to perform amazing athletic feet so here's the big thing then how do you become up with the name batman yeah well it says dad's estate left me wealthy i'm ready but first i must have a disguise <laughs> criminals are superstitious uh, cowardly lot so so my disguise must be able to strike terror into their hearts i must be a creature of the night black terrible uh uh and he's like sitting here thinking yeah. And yeah. a bat flies into his yeah. house because he left the window that open. That happens all the time. And he's like, oh, yes, a bat. I will be the Batman. And Man, if I could count on one hand the number of times I've had to chase a bat out of my house. Exactly. I would How many? I'd none. Yeah. Then we get the very first story oh, of issue number one where we're introduced to the Joker in all of his glory. The Joke Man. Purple suit, green hair, like just typical Joker look from Rubber the Rubber neck. Because his head is turned he really has it turned weird around. around. I will say, uh, I, usually when we read older things about uh, characters and stuff, yeah, there's something we laugh about and like I can't believe this. And we're gonna get to that with Catwoman okay. here real quick. All right, cool. I actually like the first appearance of the Joker a lot. Yeah, he's really good from the get go, which is odd as for me, uh, especially given that you know it's the 1940s. I feel like a lot of times it's not as good as this was to begin with i like how these people are sitting here listening to the radio well that's the thing so they're listening to the radio we're introduced uh -huh. and all of a sudden the broadcast is interrupted of the music and it's a guy basically saying that tonight at midnight at precisely midnight that i will kill henry uh claridge and steal the claridge diamond do not try to stop me the joker has spoken well, it does say suddenly the music is cut off a voice a toneless voice drone yes so I guess yep. tonight, tonight uh, he sounds like I Ben Stein probably. Um, it I do Batman. love we're at nineteen Batman. we're in nineteen forty one and we are getting a reference to War of the Worlds already yeah. oh, because really? in the very next panel the uh it's the elderly couple that's listening to the radio one mm -hmm. of them says Henry did you hear Henry Claridge because they couldn't think of another name besides the same name as the guy Henry oh. is the hey Henry did you hear Henry Claridge the millionaire. To be killed uh, and the famous diamond stolen, and her husband says, ah, that's just a gag, like that fellow who scared everybody with the story about Mars the last time. Oh, yeah, there you go. So we already have a War of the Worlds reference. He not only says cool. that, he says Hall. He does say. I've never understood Hall. that. People, I don't understand that in comics when they go Hall. 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 That's how H -A -W. I laugh. Hall. Hall. Hall, Martha. Um, that's a gag. What happens is we're then taken to Henry Claridge's house where he's surrounded by cops and the clock yeah. strikes 12 yeah. and he's like, I'm still alive. I'm safe. Thank God. And then all of a sudden he collapses. And when he collapses, they're like, he's dead. And as he's dead, his mouth starts oh, to just that permagrin. Boy. It's, I believe, um, the inspiration is from, um, oh, uh, the man who uh, uh, uh what is it? It's the 1927 silent film, The Man Who Laughs, The Man Who Smiles. I can't remember what it is. The character looks a lot very similar to the Joker does in this, but it's always that just ghastly, just like super wide, you know, ear to ear grin is what this 
dead man now has. And they're like, oh, he has the Joker's, you know, smile. Like, this is obviously the Joker's work. Right. We're then taken to, oh, they go and they find the diamond. And they're like, oh, he didn't steal the diamond at least. And they open it up and they're like, no, he did. This is glass. Also, and there's a playing card with the Joker on it in there. The Man Who Laughs, 1928. 28? Yeah. I was off by a year. Yeah. Yeah. So, look at me, though. Kind yeah, of, that was good. I was close. Good job. So, um, we're then taken to, it says, not far away, mm-hmm. a man with a changeless mask-like face, mm. but for the eyes burning hate-filled. They always talk about him having hate-filled eyes. Yeah. And it's essentially he, the Joker sitting there already kind of bored. Yeah, he's got he, – he's sitting in like an Elvis room. Kind of, like yeah, he's, he's just sitting there and he's like – flesh on the floor. He basically just tells us as the reader his plan. A solution injected into a sleeping college at 12 last night. He had 24 hours, mm. you know. He was – so I knew when he would die tonight – while he was asleep, I stole the diamond. Like, he's just telling us this. Like, he's just very bored. Yeah. Like, I did all this. I'm this, you know, awesome person. But he's like, if the police expect to play against the Joker, I did love this line even from 1941. If the police expect to play against the Joker, they had best be prepared to be dealt from the bottom of the deck. Oh, that is nice. That's that's kind yeah, of a nice little, yeah. Um, But what happens is then the next night, there's another radio broadcast this time about another man and another that's not a diamond this time. It's a Ruby. Um, mm. Same thing happens uh, when the time uh, nine or nine is when he's going to die. When nine hits, he dies. But what happens is that he's hit in the neck with a poison dart and poisonous gas is released into the room oh, by the Joker boy. that paralyzes the police and kind of leaves them with that perma grin as well. But you, you, you didn't mention that the Joker was in the room the whole time. Oh, in a suit of armor. Dressed in a suit of armor, yeah. And so he, so what he's done by paralyzing them is he takes all the evidence of like the dart that he used to kill him. Like he's taking them all out, mm-hmm. but taking away any evidence kind of they have to be able to pin and him as well. And he stole the Ronker's Ruby. The Ronker's Ruby. Ronker's Ruby. But it already shows, at least to me reading this, of other mm-hmm. villains at the time, like this one's really well thought out compared to just throwaway guys. Mm-hmm. And so there's a, it's it's easy to see how this character would stay around for so long. Yeah. Um, we're then taken, though, to like a mob hangout of some of the – just bad guys there in the area who were kind of getting sick of the Joker in a way, just because like we had plans for that diamond. We had plans for that Ruby. He's just stealing them all. Like he's taking yeah. work from us. Yeah. And so one of them was like, you know what? Somebody tell the Joker that I think he's, he's yellow. He's yellow. He's yellow. That's our yeller. Sorry. Not yellow. Yeller. It goes, yeah. Get the Joker. Our, uh, Tell that uh, Brute Nelson's going to get the Joker, that he thinks the Joker's a yeller rat. Yeller rat. So, oh boy. They're kind of putting out the word to try to get the Joker to come out uh, from hiding, and they're going to, I guess, you know, get rid of the Joker once and for all. Uh, Batman (laughs) thinks that now's the time for them to respond to all this, too. So, he's going to Brute Nelson's house as well. But what happens is the Joker breaks in and tells him, like, Hey, I heard you were talking about me. And all of a sudden people show up and there's great Joker lines in here because brute tells him, uh, you know, that, you know, you're surrounded basically. And Joker tells him very neat. That ugly head of yours does actually have a brain. Like Joker is quick witted already in his first appearance and just kind of an actual decent kind of villain. So, uh, they hear noises though. Batman's not his usual cat like self. And they uh, hear him upstairs. So a fight ensues. And while everything's going on, Joker basically shoots Brute Nelson to get rid of him. Yeah. So so the nice thing about the Joker here is he takes full advantage of Batman fighting all these criminals. Yes. Huh. And Look at him go. It's a smart villain from the get-go. Yeah, he is. Um, so he shoots the go guy Joker. that he was there to kill and then tries to go leave in his car. Batman's chasing after him and hops on and grabs towards the end of the car. Mm -hmm. And we're introduced with one of the worst lines in this collection here. But it says, Batman says to the Joker, 
hasn't this boy heard it's leap year? Well, because above that it says, even as the car starts, the Batman is upon it like the avenging black cloud. I would also like to point out something, uh, yeah, Mike. Here, I'll please. go back on mine because it's on. It's easier for me to do this. Sure. You brought up Tim Burton. Yeah. Doesn't that look very? I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Also, it's oh, not absolutely. just with Burton, but also this is the same. Uh, we've talked about Alan Moore before a yeah. little, and how I love Alan Moore. Mm -hmm. We haven't uh, gotten to the killing joke, which is a, a great read too, but Alan Moore is very big on pulling from things that have happened in a character's past yeah. and like what is canon is canon and his Joker looks a lot like this original Joker no, as well. It's super noir, you know, that forties look, but yeah. it's even, he's wearing the flat brim, the hat. flat brim, yeah. purple hat, all mm -hmm. of it. So I saw yeah. that and I was really like, great. I was like, that's really cool. That's something from the Burton Batman that yeah. you could say was pulled from the yeah. first appearance, yeah, 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 yeah. but don't worry, Mike, because, uh, I don't think that's the worried. only, that's the only thing pulled from this first appearance by Joker mm -hmm. from another, uh, Batman director. Okay. So what happens then is Batman, uh, and Joker get into a tussle in the car Batman try or uh, tussle, Joker tussle, tries tussle. to shoot Batman as they're ejected, kind of like they fall out of the car as the car drives off a bridge. So he says, "I'm gonna kill you, Batman." Yeah, he's all about just wanting to. I mean, like super, like yeah, murder. No, he never. He, he's not pulling any punches. He's no. always down to get rid of Batman. Uh, well, but while like they're trying fighting, to kick him off a bridge, that's what he does. So yeah. he punches him, and Batman kind of goes like the way mm -hmm. I'm picturing this because mm -hmm. obviously you can't, but putting it together. Batman kind of just falls against the yeah. his back up against the the stone, stone bridge, bridge. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he won't go over. So Joker straight up just Spartan kicks him in the face yeah, over the bridge, and he falls into it like Joker has beaten his bested Batman in hand-to-hand yeah. -hand combat. Yeah. Um, it says though that the shock of cold water quickly revives the Dark Knight. He's already called the Dark Knight, wow. by the way, two years yeah. in. So. Batman says, wow, my head feels as if it were going to burst any moment. He's like, yeah. Like he he goes, kicked Batman's ass. He did. He goes, it seems Av at last met a foe that wow. can give me a good fight. However, I'm not licked yet. Not quite. Mm. So he goes back to talk to Robin like he's trying to figure somebody out. somebody say that one time, but it was in a very different circumstance. <laughs> nice. Uh, there's another interruption. Why do you say nice? It doesn't mean anything. I don't know. It means nothing. I don't know. <laughs> I just play along All sometimes. Right, yeah, I got you. Sure. Uh, there's another radio interruption. This time it's going to be Judge Drake who dies uh, at 8 o'clock, and Batman and Robin are waiting around trying to figure out what's going on. we got two hours to figure this out. Well, then we're taken to a scene that we're familiar through this whole time mm. is the potential villain or the potential victims uh, being watched by the cops. Yeah. And so we're seeing uh, the judge is there with – uh, one of the chief of police are um, and they're playing cards mm -hmm. and so they're betting and uh, the police he's, he's sitting there with the judge who's supposed to be killed and so they're just passing yeah time they're passing time cards. like there's yeah. cops they're, sure. they're outside his apartment is all cops all around and it's just him and the uh, chief of police here right and so uh, the chief of police tells him it's your bet judge and the judge says, you win. I need the ace of spades uh, ace of spades to make the game. To which the chief of police responds, you, can, uh, you can't win anyway. You see, I hold the winning card, and it's a joker because it's the joker disguised yeah, as the police chief. And Mike, where else have uh, we seen the joker disguised as a, yeah. a, a member of police except Christopher Nolan's? Yeah. The Dark Knight. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying that it's there. I just found it very it's funny very that good, I can yeah, that they pull from these make things. two. That's and really I don't cool. even know if he did, but it's cool to me at least oh, that there's two be. pulls. Yeah. Um, because he has a very similar look in a way, too, about it. And that is, you know, honestly, when, no, no, all kidding aside, I mean, it is cool that these guys went back and, and looked at the old comics whenever they were making these movies. They, yeah. Like, did the research. Even in any way, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even mm -hmm. if it was just like, oh, that'd be cool. Or, yeah, yeah. you know, and maybe it's just something that I just noticed and it has no connection. But still, well, I think it's, it, it's cool in a way. And I don't understand why they don't do that more often with these comic book movies. I mean, just pull it. It's all written. Yeah. It's all here. You have good stuff. You Kick don't have Batman to make everything. Face. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'd love to watch Batman get beaten up oh, every yeah. now and then. Yeah, absolutely. That's the thing is give me, if you're going to give me heroes, I want heroes I mean, that feel that they can be. I, I mean, I don't want Robin, but still. Well, you know. I, I'm, let's yeah, put fine. some pants on him. So, so um, 
Funny enough, though, the judge does die because Joker's there. And then he calmly, we find out that the Joker says that he's also um, a master of disguise mm, as well. That's true. But with the judge dead, he walks outside and he goes, Judge Drake is dead. The Joker is one again. Watch the body. I have to go to headquarters. Watch what the he, body? Well, that's what he tells the where's cops the, outside. the body going? Well, the, he's just like, oh. I don't know how it happened. Joker oh, one again. I see. Okay. He's I trying to get out just to it. escape. And I like how police chief is in quotes. Yeah. So he leaves and Robin's outside and he's like, Batman told me if anybody left just to follow him. So I got to see where this mm. guy's going. And he follows the Joker police chief <laughs> to this abandoned house. And while he's there, he gets clubbed over the back of the head by the Joker, who is thought that he's been followed the whole time. Calls him a snooper. He does. Uh, Batman's looking for Robin. We do find out with Mike, we haven't had a stupid uh, superhero invention yet, so let me give you one. Mm. We find out that both Batman and Robin's uniforms, um, the soles of their feet are, or their boots are both treated with a luminous chemical that, that glows only underneath the light of an infrared ray. Yeah, he's got a red flashlight. He has a red flashlight, and Batman is able to track Robin's footsteps mm, this way. Perfect. And he tracks him back to where the Joker is. He and the Joker get into a fight. Um, a well, fire. He's got, he's got he's got Robin all tied up on a chair. He does. He's about to get rid of Robin. Yeah. Uh, Joker escapes. Batman's able to escape the fire with Robin, uh, but well, they're he, not able to capture. He crashed him into a chemical table. Yeah, that's what it starts says. the fire. Then yeah, a chemical table. A chemical table. Hmm. So we see that on the penthouse, the Joker prepares to enter. He's going to do his next job because he was bragging to Robin while Robin was there of like, I'm going to go steal this next, thinking he was about to kill him. Uh, so Batman and Robin go there to stop him. Yeah. Um, it's another Joker's all about wanting to get rid of Batman. Yeah. Uh, in all of it, though, He's while they're hat. Yeah, while through the f uh, fight, Batman gets a kick back and it sends the Joker flying off the scaffolding. As the frantic man falls past the penthouse, uh, Balustrade? Balustrade? What? Where? Huh? What? B-A-L-U-S-T-R-A-D-E. Where do you see this? Right here. Bal Balustrade? Oh. The penthouse balustrade. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what that too, means. We are yeah. too stupid for that. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Um, but he catches Joker before falling. Pulls him up, gives him another one, two to knock him out, and they're able to capture the Joker after all and put him away in jail. I am really caught up on this balustrade thing. Yeah, you look that up while I then get into our last little story, and then Mike will play the game of okay. can you guess what these tabs Fantastic. were? Fantastic, yeah. Do you, have, do you think you have an idea yet? Sure. Okay. A railing supported by Balusters, bal balusters, banisters, especially no balusters, B A L U S T E R S, especially an ornamental paraffin on a balcony, bridge, or terrace. Okay, this is just a wormhole waiting to happen. Yeah. Right here. So All this right. this last story is super quick. Uh, Catwoman does appear also in the very first Batman issue. Okay. Um, but I'm not going to cover that. Instead, I'm going to cover uh 49 issues later. I'm sorry, not 49. Uh, this is 62. So 61 issues later. Okay. Um, in 1950, we get Batman number 62 that tells us it is exposing for the first time the secret life of Catwoman. This is where Catwoman trains the tiny cats. Tiny cats. I'm, sure. a, I'm a small cat trainer. Small. Uh, small I included cat this trainer. just for one. This will be a super quick one. Yeah. Just to add, it's a story of where Catwoman has been hired by this man to help him uh, name Mr. X, help him with robberies. By, by the way, can I mention real quick at yeah. the end of this last one? Yeah. Robin at some point calls himself the ace in the hole. He does when Which they're I fighting think the is Joker. Really weird. He calls himself but, Ace okay. in the Hole. Right. He does. Okay, so Catwoman, she um, trains cats. She trains small cats. Mm -hmm. uh, but so Catwoman's working for Mr. X Mr. to X. help him with these robberies. Sure. Uh, but while she's being thwarted by Batman, they run by a condemned building and it falls on her. And her, like she gets hit in the back of the head by a brick. And oh, by no. doing so, she pushes Batman out of the way and saves his life. Oh. It says moments later, Robin says, I saw that Batman. She risked her life to save you. Hmm. I don't understand. Sometimes she acts like the exact opposite. They're confused by this. 
we come to find out, and I kid you not, that the knock on the back of her head. I'll just read it like this. Did she go cross-eyed? No. Oh. It's worse. So they take her back to their secret bat cave. And Batman tells Robin she's she's coming, you know, she's coming too. And Robin goes, listen, so she's kidnapped she's, this woman. They have Catwoman because mm-hmm. she's been hit in the back of the head mm-hmm. with a brick. Sure. And Robin's like, listen, she's saying something. And Catwoman says, fasten your safety belt. If we remain calm, the pilot will get us down safely. Fasten your safety belt is what she's just repeating over and over again. So she's a stewardess? And then she kind of like <laughs> wakes up. It says then as her eyes snap open, wherever am I? Where are the passengers? Did we land safely? Who oh, are wow. you? Mm. And Batman goes, Catwoman, you know perfectly well that I'm Bat- that we're Batman and Robin. Mm. And Catwoman runs over to the mirror yeah, and she looks at it. She goes, oh, yes, I've read about you, but why would you call me Catwoman? My name's Selena Kyle. I'm a stewardess with Speed Airlines. And, uh, Speed oh, Airlines. why am I wearing this strange costume? And why is your calendar all wrong? It won't be 1950 for years. Oh. Um, what happens then is she's like, I'm all me- mixed up. I'm sure this is all, oh, she goes, I'm sure of, I'm all mixed up. All I'm sure of is that I fell out the door just as the plane crashed. I hit my head against a branch and blacked out. Mm. And Batman says, if what you say is true, there can be only one explanation. Amnesia. Yep. That blow from the branch must have caused it. And now this second blow to your head has restored your memory. There you go. Well, I mean, if movies and comics and all that have taught us anything. But just to see, Batman fills the need in this to show her microfilms. Of Microfiche? The ba- <laughs> yes. Of the, the battles they have had in the past. Oh, okay. And he's asking her about it. But he has names Who's for these. Who's taking those pictures? I don't know, but he's like... This is from the case called Nine Lives Has the Catwoman. Remember it? Who's naming these cases? <laughs> Remember that day? It was a Thursday, and it's called Nine Lives of the Catwoman. And then uh, Selena goes, no, but that girl, it's me. I don't understand. I then he shows her another one, and he goes, and as a picture history of Catwoman's crime is screened, the duped, <laughs> the duped domestics, the claws of the Catwoman, the lady rogues, and she's like, no, I don't want to see it anymore. I, don't I can't. Know what you're talking about, doofus. Uh, essentially, you come to find out that yeah, she just became a criminal thanks to amnesia, okay. and then she pretends to be to still work for Mister X to get him captured. But when we leave Catwoman here, why didn't they? Just, she's no longer evil. Why didn't they just hit her in the back of the head again? Eh, she's no longer. Wouldn't that evil. fix her? I guess. But I mean, that's what go. I was going to say. Like movies and comics have taught us, you get kicked in the head by a mule. Your eyes go crossed. But then you're and you, fine. And you don't know who you are, so you got to get kicked in the head again. To get uncrossed. To yeah. get uncrossed. But no, so there was a brief time where Catwoman, apparently, because of amnesia, huh. was no longer a... Uh, mm. There you go. Was she actually a stewardess? Uh, and that time she was. They huh. retconned it, obviously, okay. but... all right. All right, Mike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tabs is what I have uh-huh. here. Eleven yellow tabs. What are these tabs? They are the Eleven Commandments. Is that your guess? I did. Eleven tabs. Batman Chronicles. I will tell you again, this collects, it doesn't matter, but this collects his first 11 appearances uh-huh. or 12 appearances uh-huh. Uh-huh. from Detective Comics 27 through 38 in the very first issue of Batman 1. So this is the very first thing. What is Batman known for a lot, Mike? I think one of the main things that Batman, at least people will talk about, that Batman has a code. There's mm. something Batman doesn't do, Mike. And what does Batman not do? He doesn't kill people. He doesn't kill people. This is 11 times. There's the 11 times people. in the first 12 appearances Fantastic. that he kills people. That is great. Let's let's go ahead of Batman the Murderer real quick to close Please. this out. Batman the Murderer. Batman the Murderer to close All out right. this episode of Bros Foes. Some of them we've covered already, but we'll just hit the highlights. I'm your ace in the hole. We covered the one where he threw the guy off the roof. He did. That's one. Uh, there's also then the guy who he punched into the vat of acid. Sure. So that's number two. Uh, number three then is from our second story where he also threw another guy off the top of that building. Sure. So that's number three. Then we get to, I'm having to figure out in order which ones these are, 
Then we have one. This one's kind of rough. In his fourth appearance, uh-huh. there's a guy, uh, and I'll just read how it happens. Batman is swinging in that great Batman wrist rope, which you can get yours, you know, today. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and he swings by at a bad guy who's leaning out of a window. And it says, but as uh, Mikkel puts his head through the window, basically you see where Batman is, there is a sickening snap. As his neck breaks under the mighty pressure of Batman's foot. That's Whoa. right. Batman swings through and just breaks the dude's neck with his foot. Wow. So that's number four. Number Yeah, that's number four. Mm. Then we're met with, we have two in the same. Or did I put two back to back? Oh, I put two back to back. There's a story with vampires. Okay. He melts down. I, I'm going to count this as killing. Granted, he's doing the right thing. But he melts down silver and shoots two vampires. So okay. I'm going to count that as two, that's two, two more deaths. That's two deads. Right. So that's f- five, six we're up to now. I said that's two deads. Six. Uh, he's only had five appearances at this point. He's already killed right. six he's people. He's already killed six. Well, people is a okay. little bit of a stretch. Four people, sure. two vampires. Sure. Uh, then there's one two where in, he... Uh, he's killed six entities. Six entities. Right. Uh, our next... Uh, our, um, issue. He throws a poisonous gas capsule at a bad guy flying a plane who crashes his plane into water and they recover his body sure. dead. I'll yeah. count that as yeah. a murder. That's definitely a murder. Uh, then we have one here where this one was kind of tough, but he's fighting a guy who kind of looks like Frenchie Blake, but isn't Frenchie Blake. Frenchie Blake. And their fight in the back of the car causes the car to careen off of a bridge. Mm. Batman is able to jump out and grab his rope before the car plummets to a certain death. Yeah, that's so a murder. So I'm going to say yeah. that that kind of works as a murder, too. Murder by omission. Yeah. Uh, we have one here where he's fighting a guy who is insensitively dressed that turns out to be a white guy. So cultural appropriation, oh, first of all. Oh, like a like a typical Asian... In comics, yeah, it was at the sure, time. Sure. But Batman grabs like a ruby kind of... Um, uh-huh idol in a way and just throws it hits the dude in the face and the dude falls out of the apartment and just falls to his death there's yeah. blood coming out yeah. of his head there yeah yeah so that's, that's number a nine that's a murder. i'm saving the best one for last mike i say that in a way of how just heinous it is for batman we then have one where he gets into a fight with a guy and a sword is thrown at batman and batman opens a door to like catch the sword uh-huh. and throws the sword back and in a fight with that guy punches him and he pushes him towards the sword sticking through the door oh wow and so it kills that yeah, guy with the yeah, sword sure, sure. and then our last one you know our our cape crusader fighting for all good and justice mm-hmm. he fights these big monster men that dr hugo strange has they're just bigger men and I he like takes, how you just say dr hugo strange like it's not a thing like yeah. it's just you know dr hugo strange dr hugo strange uh him and dr mimit oz so um, <laughs> that's good. I like yeah, that. thank you. So he's flying in his bat plane, Mimit. and with his bat rope or whatever you want to do, he wraps one of the giants by the throat mm-hmm. and flies him around, hanging him until he dies. Wonderful. And it says, it says here, the rising black bat plane jerks the monster from the ground. He goes, "I've roped steers before, but you're much more deadly to the giant." Wow says the giant tries to break uh, the ever-tightening rope, and then it says a few moments later, and he's just dangling there dead, and Batman says he's probably better off this way. Oh, my God. So there you go. Wow. 11 times Well, Batman killed in his first 13 appearances. Did he ever kill anybody in the, like the Adam West? Uh, Do you think there's anybody dead? It no, is. not in Adam West. I mean, maybe. I don't remember. I know that yeah. Michael Keaton here. I will argue Michael Keaton killed that one dude. Which um, dude? The very first of the Batman one where he's holding him off the edge. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I know it's, yeah, I'm Batman. He kind of slips, but still. I'm like, Batman. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So that is the beginning, ooh, the ooh, origins of, of Batman there for you. Uh, as always, we appreciate you taking yeah. the time out to listen. Yeah. You can find us on Instagram, Hero, or on Twitter, Bros, Foes, and Heroes. Email us anytime, brosfoesandheroes at gmail.com. Also, we are a part of the Rogue Media Network. RogueMediaNetwork.com. Family of podcasts. Other so many great podcasts out there. Mike always likes it when I actually throw out the names of podcasts. Mm-hmm. And this kind of is cheating, I guess, in a way. 
but we have uh, the public affairs show with Andrew yep, G, and then did. also Bloody Happy Hour. Bloody Happy Hour. Um, yep. That are part of the network as well. So, boom, there you go. Boom, there it is. Uh, lots of great shows for you to go over there and check out as well. But mostly, uh, most importantly of all, we want to thank you as always for taking the time out to yeah, listen man. Thanks to for us. listening. Thanks for listening. Yes. We really appreciate it. Yep. Um, and, you know, I, I have a request. What's that? I want us to, to talk about a date with Judy. I did see those, yeah. and I might try yeah. to find. There are comics yeah. in the 50, 1950 Judy. called A Date with Judy. I don't Love know what's it. in there, but Love we're going to see what A Date with Judy includes. Hopefully not the clap. So <laughs> The clap. Perfect way to end wow. it. We're in the 50s. That's why I went with that Boy, terminology. That's good. Right? Yeah, the, the post-nasal drip. Well, that was a weak one. There we go. <laughs> that's not the same thing that's, at all. Oh, but I thought okay. that, that sure. that's what. Yeah, that's what you get. Like, hey, that was a great date. Yeah. Um, um, if you get the clap from your date, you got problems. You know. But, hey, thanks again for listening. We appreciate it. <laughs> it's a weird way for us to go out. I, I set us up for that one. But, yes, Disinfect as always, yourself. yes, and don't worry about a date with Judy. We'll get there eventually. Uh, the rest of the month, we will keep going through uh, origins of people. i got to figure cool. out what to do for February. Love it. But uh, we'll just keep diving into oh, some of the ridiculousness of these February's early guys. February's got to be romance month. Do you want more romance well, comics? date with Judy. Month? Oh, we can do a date yeah, with Judy. Let's do a date with Judy. We'll do a February. date with Judy in yeah, February. That's great. We'll love do it. things like that. All right. I love it. As always, thank you for listening. Until next time, stay safe, everybody. Golly, con. Frozen. Frozen. Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, Heroes, gonna tell you about... This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. Podcast.